Okay, today we're looking at multiplying numbers by 10. It's really easy when you do this to think that all that's going on is that you add a zero at the end of a number when you times by 10. So we're also going to look at a decimal number down here to see, just to show why that strategy doesn't always work. So what we need to think about when we multiply by 10 really is our face value columns. So I'm gonna have my ones, tens, and hundreds. Because if I take, for instance, the number one, well, one times 10 is 10. So I need a placeholder. One times 100 is 100. 10 times 10 is 100. So as I go one step this way, one step to the left, each column I go, my digit gets 10 times bigger. So when I've got three then, for instance, well, three ones, times 10 is going to become three tens. So I just need to put a placeholder here to show that I've now got no ones. So I get the number 30. Similarly, if we start with 23, well, each digit is going to move one place to the left because I'm getting 10 times bigger. So I've got now two hundreds, three tens. Now I just need to remember to put in this zero here, this placeholder, because otherwise that would just be the number 23. I need that zero to show that this three is in the tens this two is in the hundreds, so I get 230. If I add now 2.3, well, I need to add my tenths column and a decimal point. So here's my 2.3, I'm going 10 times bigger. So I've got two tens, and the three comes across into the ones column to make 23. But notice, if I just did 2.3 and just add a zero on the end, well, I get 2.30 which is not 10 times bigger, it's in fact got exactly the same value. So the answer is 23, and this is why it's really important that we understand what is going on here. So your turn now, pause the video, unpause when you're ready. Okay, here we go. So again, my six ones will have become six tens, so I need that place value holder, placeholder in the ones to show there are no ones and six tens. 46 times 10 will become 460. So now I've got my tens have moved to my hundreds, ones have moved to the tens, and I need that placeholder in the ones to show that this is the hundreds, that this is the tens. Then 4.6 times 10 is going to be 46. And a nice way to think about that as well is that, well, I know four times 10 is 40. 5 times 10 is 50. So 4.6 is going to be somewhere in between 40 and 50. Oh yeah, it's 46. So have a go now at the independent task. If you're stuck, please do draw those place value grids. Don't just sort of guess. It's really good to get into good habits with this now, to understand it now in year three, so it doesn't become a big problem later down the line.